Hi folks, we are Dana and JD. We moved to the Philippines a year and a half ago. In our last video, we gave you a walkthrough of our townhouse and had a quick Ipes eviction. In this video, we are taking you through our furnishing journey and the troubles we've come across with our contractors. So we are back here at the townhouse and we are just waiting for the delivery of the air conditioning. It's very hot here. And uh, we're going to wait for the delivery and the people that are going to install it are actually here already. So we'll show you guys how they install the AC. All right, let's go. So in the townhouse that we got, it's basically the bare bones because it's brand new. And we have a, what they call a dirty kitchen here in the back. So if you're like frying anything or cooking any stinky food or what have you, or it gets really hot inside when you're cooking and it's so hot here in the Philippines that they usually have their kitchens outside. So back here in our dirty kitchen, we're actually gonna get a little roof put over the top because they, when they build it, they just kind of leave it open to uh, the outside. And so we're having some awesome contractors go ahead and build a, uh, a little roof for us and it'll um, have water drainage. We're going to have a vent tied into it from our restroom that's out here too. And so this, is, we've got just like the bare bones of it. They've uh, welded it together here today. So we'll show you that real quick. So for the storage, we had them put a board here so we don't have to see like we're going to probably keep our luggages here, some shoes and like our vacuum and all those oddball stuff. We'll keep it over here. We don't really want to see it every time we're walking up the stairs. So they went ahead and closed that off for us. And yes, um, we're going to get another light up there. Yeah, one more track light's going to be there. We got our um, really cool uh, living room light in. Kind of have an industrial fun black and white and gray feel. So this is the most we've done in a week. Put this drain hose in the AC. Good job, babe. Thanks, You're doll. such a mechanic. It's been a while since I've had to turn around. Boeing will be proud. <laughs> oh, right hole. Can I get in there? There it is. She found it. And getting our TV. Alright 
guys, we finally got our first delivery of a piece of furniture so we can actually sit down on something other than the floor right now. But we are gonna keep the plastic wrap on so we've got a little bit more stuff to get done here in the spare room. But we're very, very excited and things are happening. All right guys, so this right here is the window that we're gonna have replaced into a sliding window. Um, so we don't have the AC on in here right now, so I'm a little, a little steamy. But if you wanna look out here, it's actually where they have the dirty kitchen, which um, if you're familiar with the Philippines, most people have one, but we've got a roof put over it. Uh, we wanted to go see through so we can get some natural light down there while we're cooking. And um, they really did a great job. They put in almost like a, um, a drainage system, uh, like a gutter. And um, so in case when it rains, that'll be taken care of. But yeah, we just are super excited about it. Um, it's gonna make it a lot easier to cook back there if we get a little bit of a downpour. So we're super happy with it. And uh, yeah, just plugging away. We've got some awesome workers here and uh, waiting for more deliveries. We're moving in tomorrow. We're moving in tomorrow. <laughs> so we got a lot to do, but that's okay. What did we get, JD? We got a new bed. And yeah. Yeah, and we're going to get a new uh, dresser. Yeah, baby. So check and see what they got. Right? Nah. Oh, no. This is a mattress. Oh, boy. <laughs> I didn't know. We're just like laughing. Oh, good thing we didn't get the snares done. Yeah, yeah. So we just got our bed de delivered from Mandawi Foam. We also got a cabinet, like wardrobe from them as well. Um, so Dan and I are pretty excited. We got a new mattress, we got a cool headboard, and we sides and things that we're going to put together so we can stay here tomorrow night because tomorrow night we're bringing everything over yeah it's time to move in what size is this it's a queen size bed all right let's go to the next door all right all right this way Here, we've already shown you on the couch, but we also got this big wardrobe here, which will be nice for storage, because um, there's no real closets here. Um, so it's kind of, this is your closet, so we can put clothes in it, bedding, whatever we need to, to store in here. It's gonna be pretty big from the looks of it. We're gonna put it on that wall right over there. Ah! Let's take a look. And we won't stub our toes. <laughs> Main concern. Main concern is stubby toes in the morning. <laughs> we got a new vacuum. And it, I think we, we kind of decided and agreed upon that, like, if you plug it into the wall, it tends to have more suckage. Um, it's been pretty good. Got a great price on it. And it's this color that Dana likes. So let's give it a shot. And let's clean up the side of the bed. Uh, here we go. Let's go. Okay, this vacuum officially sucks. Yeah, it's a cool bed. Okay, here we go. Oh, that one didn't go in satisfactory. No. Oh. No. <laughs> I can't sleep tonight. I can't either. Oh, it's bad. I broke it. That's what you do to get Put me on the spot. Last but not the least. Oh, Good job, Jerry. Okay, we did it. <laughs> Here she is. There are rules hanging up curtains, Donna. Okay. Help you. We're gonna have to steam everything. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, so, um, all the doors here have pretty sizable gaps and they, um, the frames don't come with seals. So Dana and I were able to track down some pretty cheap little seals, like super cheap little seals, I should say. And they've just got some adhesive on the back. So I'm installing some right now on the doors that have been painted for a while. Let me get you a closer look here. Looks nice and clean. I'm putting it right here. Our is gonna touch this up. 
get that painted black right there. And then we've got our black seals right here. I think that's gonna look really nice, but it gives us a good compression when we shut our door. And yeah, it's just an adhesive. There's just this paper on the back. Super easy install. I love it. kind of construction and um, assembly day. We did these lovely new uh, coffee tables, end table kind of thing. Uh, this is real stone too, which we're really happy about. It came out quite nice. And over here, we are putting together our table and chairs. We got the table set up, Dan's giving it a good wipe down. And here we have our awesome chairs that we're about to assemble. And then we also sanded down our stairs today, so that was a heck of a feat. And we did a huge cleaning. We were able to contain most of the dust with uh, plastic, so that helped out a lot. And then we just did a huge vacuum and wipe down of the ceilings and walls and everything again. And we're super excited to seal it clear because we love the natural wood look. We're kind of going for that. You can see on our table and chairs, the legs are kind of the same color. Um, and we'll be kind of littering that throughout uh, the black and gray that we're kind of sticking with and white. So yeah, we're excited to show you more. <laughs> All right, so we're super uh, excited about these table and chairs, to be honest. When we first bought them, we thought they were wood, but they're actually metal, so they're a lot stronger, which we really appreciate. They're really sturdy. So we're excited to have them here. Even the table. Yeah, even the table is uh, metal legs. And it just has this cool like wood wrap on it. But yeah, they're really heavy duty. I love it. All right, guys, this is Dana's uh, retirement gig. She just uh, sits there and turns some uh, bolts that I hand to her. <laughs> I don't even get up. Nope, that's her chair to make chairs. I'm retired. <laughs> I'm not gonna pay for this. Good job, Dana. Doing my best. She's a pro, folks. <laughs> Doing it for years. Doing this for 75 years. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm still here. We are now about to build our couch. So but first, oh, excuse me, ma'am. But first, we have to usher the gecko out that was sitting on the side of it because it's just a little Bella and he needs to go back outside. So we're gonna do that real quick. All right, let's go. Just gotta get him out. There you go, go outside, buddy. Good job. Yay, success. They could easily come in here, you know that. I don't know, I just didn't want to squish them with the box. That would have made me really sad. So Dana and I have made it this far without getting a screw gun. But I think our couch has finally broken us and we have to go get ourselves a new screw gun because my forearm after hand twisting in all the screws last night into our cabinet, uh, closed cabinet in the spare room. Um, I don't think either of us can do it really anymore. I have blisters Dana from that. blister. So these legs are going into some really hard wood and I'm a lazy retired person now so I don't wanna, I can't. <laughs> You're not lazy. Soft. We're just it's just really hard actually. It's really hard, it is. I tried it, I'm like, oh no, that's not gonna happen. Yeah, the wood's really, really uh <laughs> dense wood that it's getting uh screwed into, so definitely need a screw gun. So we're gonna head to the DIY store that we have enjoyed quite a few times now. Uh yeah. So hopefully we can get the couch done tonight. And the TV. And the TV, dude. And the fridge. Okay. Oh, shit. What time is it? Seven. We got time. You sure? We had three hours. We don't sleep till 12. Time check. It is now 8 p.m. We started at 9 a.m. This is our lovely couch and a lounger. Two more to go, baby. Yeah. Two more. And then we have to unbox the fridge. 
we have to unbox the TV and then we can shower. Okay. Hey guys, uh, so we got our couch put up yesterday, uh, last night really, uh, and our coffee table and our dining room table. So now today we're finally gonna put up our TV that is a bit larger than we remember it being in the store. Um, it's gonna be kind of like being at the movie theater here uh, in the house, which is fine because we did get a really good deal on this TV. But we are so excited to finally get to watch some of our shows on an actual TV because we've been living off our laptops for a long time, which is a luxury, but we are super excited. Um, and yeah, we'll show you when we get it set up. But we are waiting for our TV wall that's going to be put in by a carpenter and his company. He's fantastic. He's going to be doing our kitchen and a closet upstairs and Dana's floating desk for the office slash spare room. So yeah, we're going to be having a kind of a wall type piece with a couple shelves, one above and one below. And then they'll mount the TV right to that so we won't see any cords and it'll look nice and tidy. And there we go. Yes, we have another project for the house that just arrived finally. We have some blinds that we're going to put up. One downstairs on our main window and one upstairs in our office. So we're just unpackaging it, checking it out, and we'll hang it up. Okay, JD, would you like to do the honor? See if that works. Yeah. Sweet Mardi Gras beads. Uh, Love it. All right. All right. Let's see. Let's get a nice close it real quick. I want to take a. Wow. Yes, yeah, perfect. So here's the thing. We tried saving a little money and hired contractors that said they could do what we wanted, but decided to take all the money and ask for more and never came back to finish. We ended up hiring a new group to finish 80% of what they had started, like sanding the stairs, framing and ducting the bathroom exhaust fans, painting the railings, refinishing the door because they painted over varnish, sealing the kitchen roof, and more. It ended up taking longer and costing more, so that is a big lesson learned. Or is it?